30 years ago today, Mikhail Gorbachev stepped down as the last leader of the Soviet Union. On the same day, Ukraine declared its independence from the communist bloc. Both events were seen by many as the beginning of the end of the Cold War. But what about the fate of both countries now? Well, to discuss that, let's talk to John Luff. He's Associate Fellow of Russia and Eurasia Programme at the Royal Institute of International Affairs. Well, thanks for joining us here on the programme. Let's take us back to 30 years ago. What sort of impact did these events have? Well, they had an enormous impact. Uh, we simply could not imagine that the Cold War was going to come to an end, and not just that, that the Soviet Union, which had been the West's advers uh, adversary for um, well over 40 years, that it would suddenly enter this spectacular phase of dissolution. So it almost uh, disappeared overnight, effectively, uh, 30 years ago. And uh, we entered, as a result, a new uh, historical era with a very different uh, geopolitical environment. Uh, the path of so many countries takes so many twists and turns that Ukraine is no different, of course. Uh, you know, let's fast forward a bit, if we can, into more recent events. I'm thinking Crimea. It's no perhaps coincidence that that conference took place yesterday. Lots of European support uh, there around the table. But concretely, what is being done? Well, con concretely, I would say so a number of things are being done. Firstly, there is a very significant e effort on the part of Western countries to reinforce Ukraine's independence, to give the country the, uh, the, the space, if you like, uh, to develop uh, an independent path. And it's, uh, in many ways, it's, it's doing that quite successfully, um, albeit under huge pressure from uh, Russia following the, uh, the annexation of Crimea in 2014 and the destabilization of the southeast of Ukraine, which has um, created uh, an armed conflict on Ukraine's territory, uh, in which Russia is the, uh, the major player. But what I think was important about uh, yesterday's event was that Ukraine succeeded in mobilizing some very significant uh, international support for its case uh, <clears throat> that is widely accepted that uh, Russia illegally uh, annexed uh, its territory, Ukrainian territory, and that it violated its commitments uh, not just to Ukraine, but also to European security.